Doing some quests on uh, Aligos to kind of like catch up on a few things. Cutting time close, but fortunately I was able to get him into a spot for resting so that we could continue on here. So, uh, last time uh, we finally got the trolley working, uh, and Jark was so excited. And. And so we got on the, the trolley. It was basically Thancred, Minfili, and I. We jumped on. Everything was going great until Ranjit showed up. Uh, in the meantime, then Thancred basically kept uh, Ranjit busy while Minfili and I ran up, are running off to Navatharang so that we can... Uh, commune with the Menphilia Veld, who apparently is Asianin inside of this Menphilia. And... Oh, wait. I can't look at... Oh, no! Decline. Well, uh... All right, let's see if we can get the Aether this back here. <laughs> We're saying in the, in the process here for, yeah, we just have the Aether Current, that's part of the MSQ, and we have two more. Where um, is it? Northwest. Get the, the... the idea here is once I get the Aether Current from the MSQ quest, I'll have flying. around fourteen eight twenty nine the rafters of the ladle
have old 77 armadillos around here. Here's the ladle, the rafters. So. Shit. Well, the trolley tracks. Be able to, uh, to read this now since I hit decline on that. All right. This is the place, as it goes. This is where she stopped the flood. Last time I was here, when I felt her presence overwhelm me and tried to pretend it wasn't happening, just turn away. But I couldn't turn away now. Not this time. For Tancred and the others have to face her. She's being brave. In the event that you leave the area, you'll speak with the apprentice engineer at mine in Amarang to return to Nabatharang. I don't have a reason to leave, so... I literally logged off here. <laughs> I didn't even go to a place where I could get Rez's XP in the meantime. Look at Midfile's eyes, equal parts trepidation and determination. I can sense the presence, albeit faintly. Come on, let's look over at the by the crystal wall. Yep, basically where we're going. Okay, before we do, because I think it's... Here it is. There we are. All the Aether cards for Amarang and just the singular one. Oh, you need to turn up the volume for cutscene. It's important. I can meet myself, dude. Is this...
No, stand back. We shall stay the flood. But this is what I want! It's my sacrifice to make! Your time has not yet come. When all hangs in the balance, you must give them hope. Minfilia! This place... You... You're... Ours is a meeting long overdue. Full glad am I that we may finally speak. I came at Thancred's best. My dear, sweet child. Yours is a burden none should ever be forced to bear. Such pain and suffering you have endured. Yet still you came. For this and more, I thank you. I've lost count of the times I've almost given up. If people hadn't helped me every step of the way, I never would have made it. Yet here you stand, resolved. Now, tell me your heart's desire. To defeat the Sin Eaters, and bring this world back from the brink. The remaining Wardens have hidden themselves from us. But with the power of the Oracle, I thought we might be able to find them. Indeed you could. Their radiance would be unmistakable. But no, my child that the power you seek will come at a price. We stand now at the crossroads. A decision must be made. Tis only natural to be afraid, to hesitate. But for your many trials, you have grown stronger and wiser. And with the love and support of those you hold dear, you have grown to love yourself. The Flood has washed away so much of this world. So many people, and places, and possibilities. And all the heroes who fought to protect them. Yet here the Scions are. Trying so, so hard to help those few of us who remain. And seeing how tirelessly they work. How completely committed they are to the cause. I can't help but believe. But I want to do more than just watch and cheer. I want to make a difference. 
I want to help them like they helped me, and maybe even inspire others to do the same. Coming together, providing for one another. That's the only way forward I can see. Since all of our heroes are gone, we'll just have to make heroes of ourselves. Tis a beautiful, wonderful dream. One we share. Though my power was all but spent in staying the flood, I prayed this final act would give hope to those who survived. That self-same hope lives on in you. It gives me comfort to know that the future is in capable hands. If ever you should falter, remember this. No one, however powerful, is immune to the whisperings of doubt and despair. Do not give in to them. But do not deny them either. Look instead to the light within, that you may continue to serve as a beacon to others. Thank you, Menphilia, for believing in us, for believing in me. Dearest friend, no words can express my gratitude to you for keeping her safe in these tumultuous times. You are a hero to us both. But not even the most valiant heroes can stand alone. Only together may you change the fate of two worlds. Sorry, I was finishing up my crackers. Memphilia looks a little bit different. I think, uh, nope, no VA. What happened? I remember speaking to Memphilia and then. Something wrong? Her hair has changed. A ring gift, I think. Until now, I've walked the path she sets, set before me. The path she set before all the Menphilias. But she's giving me a new cat path, a new life, that I can call my own. And even though she's gone, I can still feel her, warm and calm and gentle. I can feel the beating heart of the world, the light that swells within. And the light wardens. There's one here in Amarang. Sorry back, the others need to know. I don't think Thancred will be angry with me, do you? Yeah, there's only one way to find out. <sighs> I know there's no getting around it, it but... Am I going on ahead? 
I'll be right behind you, I promise. Oh, and of course we're heading back to the little ladle where we just were. <laughs> Isn't that how it is? Like, that would be an interesting thing. It's like, can we figure out the, the, the most efficient way to get flying in each expansion? Hey, Shola. How are things? Welcome back. I see you fare better than Thangrid. Yes, it goes. Thank God you are right. You're back. We were beginning to worry about you. Thou art return. But where is Minfidia? Well, let's talk about that. Really? He wasn't the one that nearly got himself killed. It's a good thing Arianger called on us when he did. You were at death's door when we found you. But thanks to your timely ministrations, I was not obliged to walk through it. I haven't exactly been pulling my weight up till now, but that's all going to change, starting today. I'll do whatever it takes, whatever it takes to make Minfilia's dream a reality. I can track the Light Wardens now, maybe even help you fight them. I'm glad you're back. You don't have to say that, you know. But I want to. Your family. How else would I feel? Oh. Hey, Dennis, thanks for following. Dennis, Dennis. She will need Dennis. a name. A name? A name of her own. I would not have her walk in the shadow of another any longer. And I think it a fitting tribute to our departed friend, too. At the mention of Minfilia, I would remember the woman who preserved our fellowship when all seemed lost. Do you remember what you were called before you were taken to Yulmor? I'm sorry, I don't. I couldn't have been very old when it happened. 
then we must think of a new name. Suggestions? Are you all looking at me? <laughs> if the lady herself has no preference, I think the honor should rightly fall to Thancred. After all they have been through together, he's practically a father to her. He is Dagrid. Well spotted. I'm so glad you're here to explain these things. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. <laughs> What about Green? Ah, blessing in Fay. Wait, does this mean thou weren't listening when I delivered my lectures on the Pixies? <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly, but that one word made an impression. Of course, if it's not to your liking, I can think of something else. Reen. Yes, I rather like the sound of it. Thank you. That settles it then. Welcome aboard, Reen. Yay! I won't let you down. Yeah, just calling her Minfilia is just kind of getting... It's kind of confusing. Okay. I think we're out of the cutscenes. I think I need to turn my mic down. Yesterday, for some reason, I wasn't picking up everything as well as I thought, but... Yeah, apparently it is fine. Everything's fine here. How are you? See, there's our last one. Perhaps for the first time, you look at Reen's face. And one is utter relief. Now that they are actually like communicating, she knows that Tancred wasn't happy with the whole situation with the Minfilia. But the reason why he wasn't saying anything was mainly because. It wasn't his choice to make about the things. He, he he didn't want to influence, really influence Reen into like bringing back Minfilia. He wanted that, but he didn't also. It, it's this whole conglomerate of conflicting emotions. Reen was Reen the entire time, just Asian stuff, you know. Well, like Asian, whatever you want to say. Like an Asian, uh, I don't know. Words not helping right now. Anyways, moving on. Green says, "I honestly don't know how to repay you for all you've done, but I promise to do whatever I can to help." Pretty certain you're up to fighting so soon. I can't imagine the power of the Oracle is something one learns to wield in the space of a few hours. Maybe not. But the presence of the Light Warden is unmistakable to me now. In fact, I can sense one in Almarang, to the west. I think it might be hiding underground. Underground? And it is as we suspected. We thought it prudent to take a brief survey of the area prior to your arrival. To the west, we find the remains of a site known as Malika's Well. If I recall correctly, the well was built in remembrance of one of the ancient kings of Nabatharang to serve as a source of respite for the desert heath. It fell into disuse after the flood, whereby the miners of Amarang thought to turn part of it into an excavation site. Judging by its size, the underground waterways are no doubt extensive, perfect place, the perfect hiding place for a warden. Green, are you certain you can track it down? Leave it to me. And it is settled. Make for Malika's well. Do 
Hey, I wonder, is this a dungeon? Well, probably because it has to deal with the Light Warden. Which is still active Talos. Don't remember if this has VA or not. Nope. It's here. I can taste its ether on the wind. And we finally found our mark. Let's put an end to this, Essegos, and return the night sky to our meringue. Uh, all right, got six people to choose, so and only three of you will be able to come in. Guess what? We only have one tank. And well, this is a level seventy-seven dungeon, right? So looking at my uh, jobs I have up, uh, 75, 76, and 75. Well, I guess I have to mark it. How long have I been playing Final Fantasy XIV? Um, I don't actually remember. I want to say four or five months, six months, something like that. I've already done a whole bunch of stuff on uh, on a uh, tune already. This is this tune I've been using as my streaming tune. So, His name is Esco Swinsmall. Well, I'll probably just show a bunch of stuff later on uh, between between now and then Walker, which is not until November. So. Pre-ordered, so I'll be starting that as soon as it comes available. All right. So, as much as I want to bring Reen in, uh, I it, the dual melee gives me mixed feelings. Uh, I think I'm going to bring Ariange. You know what? I'm going. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do dual melee with with Reen. Um. And then Dad Crid and Oriange, because Oriange still kind of had a. It's like Uncle to Reen. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. When you want it, when you're streaming, you want to get into the dungeon as soon as possible. You don't want to be like hanging out in queue for a while. That's why I use the truss. Also, I was somebody with uh, kind of a social anxiety and not liking to deal with people nor waiting for cues. I love truss so much I can do dungeons without having to wait for people. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go. Takes a little longer, you don't get as much loop, blah, 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 but you know, that's fine.
By doing this today, this means during the week I can um, use this to kind of like match up the, uh, try to get to a matching levels. That would be easier to do roll quests if everything's matching. My favorite job just is monk. Um, second would actually be astrologian or astrologian, as uh, I think is the official pronunciation. You know, as a, uh, do I have food? I think I might actually need to get a stockpile of food. Oh, I do have something. Bill speed. You know, I, shield healers? We're, you're talking about uh, Scholar and, and Dragoon. But shield healers, like for healing, I had the worst time at uh, shield healing. Now, to be fair, because my background in MMOs is uh, World of Warcraft, which, strangely enough, I recently unsubscribed to, not necessarily because I don't like the game or certain things that's been going on recently in Blizzard Entertainment, but... Um, just because I've gotten so much into Final Fantasy XIV, I haven't played it in months. Uh, but, uh, I played Druid, and, uh, my favorite healer, if favorite healer is the Druid, um, to play, at least. Uh, and a little bit with, uh, Priest. Uh, Holy Priest, specifically. And, like, if I tried Discipline, which would probably be the closest match to Scholar uh, in WoW, it is so hard. I mean, and, and of course, that's based off of, like, when I am healing. <laughs> Uh, I do like kind of, I do kind of like hot space. So, which one of the reasons why I kind of like astrologian is if if I'm with a scholar, I know I'm like yes, I can go throughput and go. Uh, well, what's it called? Um, I can go diurnal. But when I already got like a um, white mage, I could. I feel like I can easily go go um, nocturnal, and I I've got comfortable with nocturnal. I think one of the reasons why not I kind of like nocturnal is because you still have a full fledged normal throughput heal with benefic. Because benefic, in benefic to you, uh, it it's a heal. That's all it is. It's flat out just a heal. And uh, physic, 
and it, it, it has the upgrade. So it's got you got benefic and you got benefic too. But with with scholar, you have physic, and then you don't have a physic two or anything. You only have uh, Aklo. I don't remember the full name of it. Which does the the little heal and and the shield. And the primary li- primary aspect of that is the shield. And I don't feel comfortable enough to be proactive on stuff and making sure that the heals are up beforehand. So when the tank's health goes down so far, I, I, I'm trying to get him back up. Even when I lustrate, lustrate doesn't seem to do anything. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. I'm, just, I'm really bad at using my pet. It's it's just my not my jam. So pretty much leveling that I <laughs> just use summoner. <laughs> or I go into MSQ you as a scholar. Alright. Alright. Yeah, Craig, we really need to get Rein some ninja training. Or get her into a different job than than being a rogue. Yeah, that proximity thing in this fight doesn't really do that much damage. It does a little bit of damage, but... You know, whenever we get multiple targets here and I'm playing on a monk, it makes me wish wish I had uh, Earth Storm and Fire. Which uh, uh, monks in WoW have. Oh no! No, Orianje, why did you die? <laughs> oh no! Oh, Orianje, I'm not on my red mage. I can't res you. Oh no! This is horrible. Ariane, I thought you knew the mechanics. I know this is not going to do anything. Oh, that was bad. There we go. All right, Ariane, I am sorely disappointed in you. That was embarrassing. Oh. That was the first boss, so of course I have to... There's no shortcut. Maybe I should have come in here with Yastola or uh, Alize. I think one of the reasons why I like having uh, Orianje as the healer versus uh, 
Alpha now? It's because he's uh, Astro. <laughs> I'm kind of excited to see how Sage works and then Walker for healing. It's supposed to be another he shield healer. And then there's the question of how, how are they going to make it so Astro is more of the non-shield healer? Well, I really think they should just keep Astro the way it is. As the basically the versatile healer. And then the next time that they plan on putting a job in for uh, as a healer, they can make that a uh, pure, and then Astro would be kind of in between. Yeah, that's what what I heard. I'm kind of like I like Astro the way it is because it's like a nice mix, jack of all trades. Wait. I think the cards Okay, I'm focusing. I just want to see what the changes they do with Astrologen. Yeah, I think we all should really stand out here, but the only problem is we're coming in more for the air. Eh. Let me do a quick, uh, by the way, pro tip for Final Fantasy 14. <laughs> Use your limit breaks. There we are. Now I got a shortcut. That was the crown of casting. Well, that'll be great for my bread mage.
My need is upgrades for my monk because that's what I'm playing right now. This is 412. I'm at 405. Come on. Raw custard. I really would wish that they would have like some sort of AOE logic put into the trusts. Just something like if there are so many enemies, use this rotation. This next box is kind of fun, by the way. Uh-oh, we got the talus. Forecasting equipment. I will say this, that if I hit 80 on Monk before um, finishing the main story MSQ or the shadow, if I hit 80 on Monk before the quest Shadowbringers, I am going to make sure that I switch to a different class. <laughs> I should, because this is 77, I should be able to at least get um, my remaining uh, jobs to 79 at least and use those until I hit the, the level 80 quests.
Oop. Trash logic, I don't mind so much. I think I start talking and I keep forgetting what I'm about to say. That's okay. Oh, lag. I do like how on each of these well bores I have two charges of I know the dance of that fight so well. Look at that! I am proud of my performance of that fight. Well, we're getting close to the light warden. Well, I'm too slow on that. I'm not perfect, but, you know, there's times when I am essentially perfect. And I'll be proud of those times. It's this last boss, which is kind of like, eh, kind of a mixed feel, a mixed bag.
All right, you seem to be have been doing one of your bigger fights or, or things, but uh, the one creature was almost dead in stress trash. Okay, you guys are working on this one, so I'll just help you out with that. That's a dragoon thing. It'll be good for Reaper, because Reaper, I believe, is, is going to be part of the maiming gear. I think one of the reasons why I don't like having Marine on the team is just because she's really slow to engage. Man, more Red Mage stuff. All right, final boss cutscene starts now. <laughs> there it is. Well done, Reed. Now let's end this. All right. Come on, Dacred. Oh, God. I'm definitely getting lag here. Which can actually be kind of annoying on this fight.
I don't know why they can't dodge an attack at the same time. Intestinal crank? Okay, I didn't do the greatest of dodging than that. I had two vulnerability stacks. This is that good. There we go. Another light form defeated. Now to absorb its slat so it does come back.
Here we go. Oh, ah. Ugh. Ah. Because, oh, there it is. I get an ability called a Notman. Where everything I have on timer, it just kind of pauses while I am channeling this ability. That's all it does. Extend the duration of twin snakes in your present form to max maximum and halts their expiration. Duration 30 seconds. Cancels auto attack upon execution. Effect that ends upon using another action or moving, including facing a different direction. So you literally have to hit the button and take your hands off your keyboard in order for it to continue to work. And it's on the GCD. Must have gotten something, right? Can I get something? I got a double striking, which went to my inventory because I've got too much stuff in my short. There you go. I'm going to plan a gram or pay it as soon as I can. Ring. But when Urianje told me the Talos was in pieces and the trolley didn't look much better, I couldn't help wondering what in the hells had gone on. What indeed. At least the heart is in one piece. The rest is replaceable. Looking at this mess, though, it's a miracle they survived. <laughs> you can say that again. What? What the? Are you seeing this? It just happens we kill the light wardens in the middle of the night in, in any case. The sky. It's... It's... When you spend all your life underneath the primordial light sky, and then all of a sudden, the night sky appears in the skies. Something that you may have only heard in stories. Think of what that means to be. <laughs> Either they're utterly terrified because something new, or it's wonder and amazement. I would assume wonder and amazement just because night skies are beautiful. When we can get out of the well in the morning. At last, night has returned to Amarang. She says that this is a brilliant blue sky. We'll <laughs> save this broken world yet, Tesleen. You see if we don't. No doubt retreating in the wake of the Warden's demise. I wonder if they even knew where the Warden was. Back to Calusia, the last refuge of light. Home to our dear Lord Vorthry, who will no doubt do everything in his power to thwart us. As well he should, for defeat there would spell the end for both him and his heavenly host.
There the fate of this star shall be decided. We did it. We really did it. I only wish there was time to visit the inn. We can but hope the return of night, night has granted the residents some shred of comfort. They thought the world beyond changing, but today, I think we proved them wrong. We will fix this broken land, Esagos, together. I believe I can fly. That out. Yay! Factorine. Are you feeling all right, Eskos? After defeating the Light Warden, I could swear it's Ether. Nope, oh, never mind. I'm still getting used to my powers. It's probably nothing. I'm just relieved really I was right about where the Warden was hiding. The last one is hiding in Calusia, isn't it? Can't feel it from here, believe it or not. But perhaps we should head back to the Crystarium first. We have a lot to tell the Exoc, and I think we could all do with some rest. You sees it too, then. Says Yustola. Back to Crystarium. Which also means that I can reapply my glamour plate. I have to say that for for the first part before Ring got her name got her name on stream. I kept having to remember that she's been Philia until she's Reed. I kept thinking of her Reed because I've been thinking of her as Reed but for so long because I'd already gone through this on my first character. The others are with the Exxon. Before we join them, there is something I wish to confirm. Tell me, Reed, have you noticed something, anything peculiar about Eskos' appearance of late? Anything at all? Speak freely. You won't mind. Well, since Miss Philia bequeathed her power to me, as I've been able to see the light inside him, though I didn't think anything of it at first. But after we defeated the warden in Amarang, I realized something was wrong. You've absorbed its ether, Esagos, and the light within you has grown monstrous. Then it is as I suspected. How are you feeling? Uh... Ow. Oh. That's a ghost. Ugh. Ugh. Not just done, this one will get worse. Green, with the power of the Oracle, you gained some measure of control over light, have you? Is there anything you can do for him? Extinguishing it is out of the question. Even at her strongest, Mithia could only hold back the light. I might be able to suppress it, but I don't know for how long. Then we have no choice but to rely on Oriange and his secrets. If the next battle is to be the last, we may be able to play your part, but you will need all your strength. I will discuss with strategy with the others and see what everything is made ready for your uh, our departure. You are to return to your chambers and rest until then. Understood? Does he give in to Yastola's commands?
Or is he going to be the, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Let me help. The difficult, a stupid, difficult decision. Look, no, I'm fine. I'm fighting fit. This is not the time for false bra bravado. If your condition was, then it could be a dire consequences for us all. Now, please return to your chambers and rest. I ain't wanted to do the yes mother now. Is everything all right, sir? You don't seem quite yourself. Perhaps a hot, hot meal in a freshly made bed will improve matters. Your room is ready if you care to retire. Very good. If you need, should have need of anything, anything at all, I do not hesitate at all. Ah, Bert. Well, why'd you stay behind? But enough about me. What of Armor Rang? Exposition. I see. Minfili has gone then. Which means the reason I must suffer this purgatory shall forever remain a mystery. Something Mavilla said to me. Minfilia said my time had not yet come. That I still had a role to play. Not even the most valiant heroes can stand alone. No. No, it couldn't be. There's only one hero in this room, and it is not me. I'm just a shadow. Cursed to wander.
<clears throat> Forgive the intrusion, but Minfilia, that is, Reen, and the others were asking after you. Is everything all right? Tell them about what happened. That pain again. And did it pass? Thank goodness for that. I would not wish to see you suffer. Though I know only too well how much you have suffered on our behalf in recent days. Indeed, I have no right to impose upon you further. Nevertheless, I must ask one thing of you. That you survive this, no matter what. When the dust settles, you must return to your world. For the battles to come, and the wars yet unwon. The final Light Warden is all that stands between us and victory. There is still much we must do to prepare. But for now, I will see if there is aught that may remedy the strange affliction which plagues you. I'll see it through. Of that I have no doubt. Even if I had my pick of every Reflections heroes, I could not have asked for a finer champion. I'll not keep you from your rest any longer. Take as much time as you like. Who are you, Axark? This is interact. It would need to be later. After the liberation of Alamigo, perhaps. That was the book that uh, Count Emma was writing. Please tell me you're finished. You have to go. It will be upon us any moment. Very well. Where to next then? Let's just worry about getting getting out of the city and pray the airship is still in one piece. Anywhere we go from here, we'll just be more of the same. God, by the sound of that last one, I reckon the Knights 12 might be, be the Knights Rubble now. There's nothing else we can do. Do? Look around you. This isn't war. It's a sickness spread to every corner of Eorgia. City states are in disarray. By all accounts, the Far East fared no better. There'll be nothing left of us this when it's over. This world is beyond saving. Never tired of that story. The hero swoops in and stride a white dragon to save the little girl. I could die happy knowing knowing someone like that is still around. Indeed, but not today. Not while our message remains undelivered. Have faith, my friend. You will find him.
Peculiar dream. Ah, oh, Master Winsmore, I trust you had a pleasant rest. While oh, you were ensconced in your chamber, a message arrived you from the Exarch. Bids you to come to the Ocular at your earliest convenience. And sir, whatever your duties may take you next, I shall pray for your safe return. May the night keep you. I heard thunder, but I think that might have been in game. <laughs> I literally looked at it. Is everything I'm seeing other where, where I'm not seeing why there would be thunder in the real world. <laughs> Talk about immersion. Okay, I'm taking this a long way. There's an eighth right shard, but maybe as part of my rest, I'm just taking the long walk up walk up to it through the rain and thunder and thunderstorms. Gate peak conversation. I think we have a thing. Time for voice acting. There you are. May I assume you've had your fill of rest? That is well. Now that we are all present, let us speak of our plan. Thus far, we have vanquished four Light Wardens, restoring Night to much of Norvrand. Okay, I don't think it's thunder. I think somebody's moving furniture up upstairs. <laughs> my, my apartment complex. Just make a lot of noise. Only one remains, that of Colusia, and with Reen to guide us, I am certain we will find it. We're so close now. If we can just take care of this one last warden, we'll rob the Sin Eaters of their final foothold and drive them out of Norvrant once and for all. It will be a new beginning for the first, a chance for the people to rebuild their world. In short, a prize worth fighting for. And in thus delivering the first from destruction, so too shall we unsow the seeds of the eighth umbral calamity. Do you hear? Your dream of rejoining is in jeopardy. Are you sure you're not tempted to intervene? You labor under the misapprehension that vanquishing the Sin Eaters is tantamount to saving the world. It is not. In truth, you only delay the inevitable, lengthening your fleeting lives by the smallest of margins. It would be churlish of me to deny you this small concession, close as we've become. Foolish and misguided though you are, you are not without charm. Each and every one of you is possessed of a noble heart. When the weak want for succor, you do not hesitate to provide it. Alas, your nobility is short-sighted. You think only of the problem in front of your nose. A limitation of your ephemeral existence. 
Our lives may seem short and insignificant to the likes of you, but one does not need to be an eternal being to achieve lasting change. Uh, if I may stop you there, I do not claim that we Asians are special. That is another misconception. In the beginning, everyone, everyone lived nigh for eternity. Such was the natural order of things. But like so much else, this was taken from you. You won't object if I borrow your plaything. In the distant past, when the world was one and whole, a great calamity threatened all life. It began without warning. The very laws of the star were warped and broken and chaos swiftly spread throughout the land. Faced with annihilation, we sought to imbue the star with its own will. Thus was Zodiac born, and by his power was order restored. Ere long, however, thankless fools began to fear that Zodiac's might was too great and so they conjured another to keep him in check. Your own dear Hydaelyn. And the two beings waged war until, with a single devastating blow, Hydaelyn unmade Zodiac, scattering his being across space and time. So you told us in the Katana Ravel. Yes, yes! And there began our woes, with Hydaelyn's blow and all that it wrought. As a counterbalance to Zodiac, Hydaelyn was created with the power to enervate her foe. This singular ability strikes not at such banal things as flesh, but everything that defines the target, diluting its existence. For example, were she to strike you, Two individuals, identical in appearance yet reduced in all respects, strength, intelligence, the soul itself, all is halved. Do you see? This self-same fate befell not only Zodiac, but the very star. Only three were fortunate enough to escape the Sundering, me being one of them. When I beheld the shattered remnants of our home, I knew deepest despair. The inhabitants of these fourteen fragments were feeble, frail and foolish oblivious to their imperfection, ignorant of their past. Malformed creatures thrashing blindly about. Pitiful, disturbing, depressing. So, we took it upon ourselves to rejoin the worlds. But in our eagerness and, I confess, our ignorance, we erred and made a useless void of the Thirteenth. It was only afterwards that we discovered a connection twixt Source and Shard, a flow of energy that maintains elemental balance. And thus did we arrive at our time-honored modus operandi.
From a purely Asian standpoint, it could be said that what you seek to do is only logical. But that would be to ignore the immeasurable destruction wrought with each rejoining. You have murdered millions, and this we cannot condone. By your fragmented existence, you continue to give rise to tragedies far crueler than any calamity. But yes, moral relativism and all that. Case in point, I do not consider you to be truly alive, ergo I will not be guilty of murder if I kill you. Oh, don't look at me like that. You for whom I have only the highest expectations. A vaunted hero of the source, seven times rejoined. Long have I awaited one who might brave a path of lesser tragedy. A resilient soul able to endure the necessary pain. I dare to hope that my wait is over. So, finish your task and slay the Light Warden. Make proof of your usefulness, and then we may speak again. Forgive me, my lord, but this could not wait. Speak freely, Captain. Our informant in Colusia sends word of unusual activity in Yulmur. It appears their forces are entrenching themselves at key points throughout the city, making ready for an attack, by all indications. An intriguing use of resources. I rather doubt Lord Vorthry is concerned for the safety of his citizens. You think he's harboring the Light Warden inside the city walls? Even if he does have some means of controlling the Sin Eaters, wouldn't that be a little risky? Risky or not, if there is even a chance the Warden is hiding there, we will need to act fast. The longer we wait, the better prepared the Yulmorans will be. Agreed. See to your preparations then and make for Calusia. God's willing, this hunt will be the last. Let us see it through to the end. We should begin by assembling in right. There we may assess the situation in Yulmor and decide how best to proceed. Take a quick rest for me. Here, Mick.
Alright. Oh, the symbol right, so let's just go to right. Also, let me turn down the button. Here you are, as it goes, the others have gone ahead to reconnoitre to a gate town. We are to follow shortly. It's been a while, has it not, since the two of us infiltrated Yulmore? Since we faced Lord Vothery, and I felt such fury as I'd never felt before. His actions were unconscionable, of course, and my abhorrence I felt toward him entirely justified. Yet, mingled with my rage, there was something else. At first I was unsure what it was in the course of our struggles. I found the answer. In Vothery's self-righteousness and his absolute belief that he and he alone is the cure to the world's ills, I saw a reflection of myself, and it brought the memories of all, all my past follies flooding back. He is the vainglorious, ignorant fool I once was, and having shared in his affliction, I feel duty-bound to open his eyes to the truth. Whether he will accept it with the good grace I did is another question. What is it, Reen? Do you sense the light warden? I'm, I'm not sure. The aura is different. Perhaps if we were a little closer. It is time we were on our way to, in any case. Let us join our comrades and get down. As it goes, as a precaution, may I ask that you go first to ensure that the path is clear. The closer we are to Yomor, the more I worry that Reen may be, may be recognized. If you see any prying eyes along the way, pray encourage their owners to look elsewhere. In other words, beat the crap out of them. You hear the civilian, but he does not respond and continues in coherent rambling. Lord Rothery, we hear, we obey. Oh. Oh, uh, well, this is awkward. Actually, check a few things. Ooh, I have two skill points, which I don't. Nope, we got plenty of. Long live Lord Vothry. Long live Lord Vothry. Okay, that was definitely thunder. I guess it's going to rain here. Oh, 
are. Good for you to join us. I'm debating whether to warn you, but it's too late now. I take it you notice the people behaving strangely along the path. It's more of the same here. Yustola and Elise have investigating as we speak. Let's wait and see what they have to say. Think. I'm not sure her voice over or not. Strange. By their behavior, we may safely assume that they are under Vorthry's mind control. Yet the extent of the effect seemeth to vary dramatically between subjects. It is far too pronounced to be attributed simply to the vagaries of innate magical resistance. Curiouser and curiouser. We met with no trouble en route. My thanks for securing the way. But given the state of the townsfolk, I see we were never in any danger of being recognized. What can you tell us from here? a powerful eater in the uppermost reaches of the city but there's something different about it its light is impure we need to get closer oh so that one's Alfino well, unless you're triplets Kaishia what are you doing here? While I was scouting the area, I noticed a suspicious figure skulking about. So I accosted him, only to have him call me Alfino. I thought it best to bring him along. You see, that informant who's been feeding secrets to the Crystarium, it's me. See, after you saved my life in Yulmore, I thought about going somewhere far away, but I couldn't just leave. Not without paying you back. So I decided to stay here, keep an eye on things. And whenever I spotted something strange, I shared it with your friends. That took no small amount of courage. Well done. I assume you saw what happened here. Right, so an airship flew in a bit ago, and not long after, Vorfree starts ranting and raving. You could hear him from all the way out here. Giza was doing his nut, shouting and screaming like someone had nicked his pie. Tis like the airship bore the soldiers sent to thwart our efforts in our So eventually the yelling dies down, and then this hot, sticky wind comes blowing through. Now that's when everyone went funny. Not everyone but me. Well, me and a couple of newcomers, though even they started mumbling about Vorfri after a while. Not as bad as the rest, mind you. Newcomers. There's something I need Reen to see. This was among the town folks' food stores. Oh, that's just meal. You almost doze this stuff out. No, it... it couldn't be. I... I know what it is. It's Sin Eater. Meal is made out of Sin Eater. So it is.
Toilet green. In limited quantities, it may have little effect on an average individual. Yet if one were to consume it regularly, over a period of several years, I suspect it would do far, far more than merely nourish the body. That Vorthri wieldeth power over Sin Eaters is known. Could it be that those who partake of their flesh do thereby render themselves susceptible to his influence? It would serve to explain why the town's newer arrivals succumbed less quickly than those raised on a diet of meal. He's been rounding up Sin Eaters and feeding them to people. Altering them mouthful by mouthful, all to stop them answering back! There are desperate souls out there killing themselves to escape turning. This is unforgivable. An atrocity! These Sin Eaters... What if they are not simply rounded up? Do you remember what we were told when first we came to the city? Many enter, but none leave. Let us put an end to it. To this paradise built upon the bones of the poor. Vortra's deeds are beyond justification. Beyond forgiveness. Evil. It's highly probable that the Light Warden is waiting for us somewhere in there. And I'm all for going after it. But our enemies know our faces. They know that we are coming. And they will not let us through without a fight. Like it or not, the time for stealth is past. Now, my friend, if you would be so good as to lead the charge. Need you ask? Greg Nuggle. <sighs> When we step through the gates, we shall not we'll find not the place of hedonistic pleasure we remember, but a battlefield. If you're prepared for this, that's slightly full. Alright. Get a lot of noise, so I'm gonna turn this down. And a flicker of light. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear that loud enough, but I'm not turning up the volume for it. Well, let's knock him unconscious at least. Duty! Climb to the next level.
Here goes our tank. I want pop food. Rogan A. I can... Alpha, no, are you sure you don't want to tap yourself up before we go upstairs? Oh, you again.
Thank you for telling me where he is. Freaky deaky monk monk guy versus uh, traditional monk guy. Why do you go so far? Do I not have his fire? Ah. This for regen time.
Ah, uh, there you are, my precious girls. I don't know why you said that. Let me think we got voiceover. Voice acting. I'm turning it up anyways. Not at the moment, but very soon, I suspect. Well, you're right, Eskis. Yep. Got Runji. The citizens appear to have calmed down for the moment. I only assume Valtteri is uh, otherwise engaged. Let us get to the upper level while we can. The same here, friends. Lord Vorthry! Your reign of tyranny is at an end! For too long you have preyed upon the desperation of the poor. Now you will answer for the suffering you have caused! And if you harbour even a shred of remorse, I beseech you to use your powers to redress the balance for the future of all in Norvrant. No, it can't be. This is wrong. It's wrong. The Warden, it's not just a Sin Eater. It's a man. Remorse? For the future of all? What nonsense is this? There is no justice but mine. No future but mine. No will but mine. It is preordained. I was born to deliver this wretched world. Me? Unseated? No, 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 no. It's impossible. Inconceivable. Absurd. I am a great and wise king. Greatest and wisest. I reign from on high. I will not be brought low by maggots like you! Ah! Oh, yes. Of course. I can begin again. Rebuild my paradise. Once I finish my dinner. I don't know why he's using a fork. Oh God, no, stop him. Thank Chris, stop him. I like how those little wings are able to carry him. Where did he go?
What in the heavens? Did Vorthri do that? Uh, how do we get up there? Wait! That is Mount Golg, the highest peak in Calusia. It lies on the other side of a sheer cliff, and much as I wish it were otherwise, it is beyond our reach for now. But even if it weren't, there are people here who need our help. Oh, Alpha, no. Please, even if it's only to tend to their wounds. All right, be quick about it. Thank you. Look, I came here for a mission. I came here to defeat the Light Warden. We find out it's that thing. <sighs> I don't know if it will work. But if Vorthri's hold over the people is rooted in light, I might be able to reverse its effects. Will you let me try? Of course. We'd be grateful for any help you can provide. Well then, if it's decided, let's all get to work. Yeah, the sooner we get this done, the sooner we can figure out how to get up there. I have priorities. I beat faces. Tending wounds, not so much. Yeah, yeah I know astrology and such, like Coriange does, but uh, it's a different matter. Right now, I want to get up there and beat Vothri's face in. I'm gonna crack his skull in. Very violent, I know. Here's something. Oh, I still can't attune to the eighth right. Jeez. You would think after that and actually the vendors appearing in the room. Look. Oh, not yet. There's a delivery Moogle. There's materia vendor, Melder. Get even a collectibles person here. Linden Tool Exchange. The Boutique of Splendors. Got Summoning Bell. And everything. Anyways. I think this is a good place to pause. Uh, I'm going to come down, refill my beverage, stretch a little. Uh, and I'll be back in just a couple minutes. Uh, but I'm going to take the stream down in the meantime. Hey, what do you know? I'm doing this under two and a half hours, which was my target target time. Hey, this is all associated with Cubs Out Loud, the very podcast of a determined length. Uh, YouTube.com slash Cubs Out Loud, Cubs Out Loud .com, uh, et cetera. <laughs> what do you expect? Anyways, I will uh, see you in a few or in the next video, whichever comes first.